In this video, we'll be enriching data without code. I'll be showing you how to use Clearbit's API to automatically enrich your data with company logos. In this project, we'll be using Parabola, the Clearbit API, and Google Sheets. You can create a Parabola account at parabola.io. They also have a free plan. You can access Clearbit's API documentation at clearbit.com forward slash docs. And you can create a Google Sheet at google.com forward slash sheets forward slash about. For convenience, I've timestamped this video in the description. To begin, you'll need to create a Parabola account and log in. Once you've logged into your Parabola account, you'll want to create a new flow. For the purposes of this project, let's title this flow URL Data Enrichment. We must begin by importing the data we wish to enrich. I've created a simple sample data set of airline companies that you can replicate in Google Sheets. Find the function to pull from Google Sheets in the panel, drag it out onto the canvas, then open the settings for the function. You might get prompted to authorize your Google account. Please do that. Let's go through what must get done here. Select file. You'll want to locate the sheet we wish to enrich with data. In our case for this project, it's airline companies. We're going to enrich our data URLs with the logos of the airline companies. Select the sheet. You want to select the sheet within the Google Sheet where the URLs got housed. In this case, it is in logos. Now, click Show Updated Results. The data in the Google Sheet should now show in Parabola. Let's now go back and find the API enrichment function in the panel. Once you've found it, drag it out onto the canvas, then open the settings for the function. We're going to use the free API provided by Clearbit. Let's go through what must get done here. Request type, ensure that's set to get. The reason being, we want to get data from the API to enrich our data set. API endpoint URL. We must insert the URL for the API that we wish to query. As mentioned, we'll be using Clearbit's free logo API. Let's switch over to Clearbit's API documentation to find the endpoint URL. You'll want to click logo API, then HTTP request. And that's where you'll find the URL that we want to query. Copy the URL and go back to Parabola, then paste it into API endpoint URL. In the documentation, you might have noticed a semicolon followed by the word domain. In this instance, the word domain is a parameter for the API endpoint URL. It tells the API where to look. We've already got URLs in a Google Sheet that we want to enrich. To tap into that data, we must reference the column's name exactly as it is within Sheets. In our case, in between curly braces, we must enter Domain. Now, click Show Updated Results. The API will now enrich our data. However, it's not human readable. Let's go back to the panel and what we'll want to do now is find the function to insert a text column. Once you've found that function, drag it out onto the canvas, then open the settings for the function. Let's go through what must get done here. To begin, you'll want to make sure that skip if column already exists is unselected. In new column name, we want to create a new column to hold the URL data for the images. Let's name the column 
image URL column value, we must set a value for the column. In other words, what data the column should hold. For this, we'll want to revert back to Clearbit's documentation and we'll want to copy the HTTP request URL as we did before. And then we'll want to go back to Parabola and paste it into column value. And of course, as before, we'll want to replace the semicolon with the word domain with curly braces and enter domain as is within the Google Sheet. Now click show updated results. The images will now have a human readable link. At this point in our flow, we have a redundant column, which is API. So let's go back to the panel and we'll want to search for the select columns function and then drag it out onto the panel. Once you've done that, open the settings for the function. Now at this stage in our process, we no longer need the API column. Our automation will have already worked with it, hence we can delete it. So let's go through what must get done here. Columns to remove, and the column we'll want to remove is this API column. Now click show updated results. Perfect. We can now export this back to Google Sheets. So let's go back and in the panel, let's search for send data to Google Sheets. Once you've found it, drag it onto the canvas, then open the settings for the function. You might get prompted to authorize your Google account. If you do, please confirm your account. Let's go through what must get done here. From the top, ensure that each time the flow is run, it will update or add. Select a file. Select the same Google Sheet we initially created, which was airline companies. That's where we want to feed our data. Set the export rule to overwrite unless you want to append the data. Now click show updated results. Now we can select the input sheet and we'll want to input it into logos. Again, click show updated results. Now the flow has run, but not into Google Sheets yet. To publish the flow, go back and click run flow. We can set scheduling rules these rules are useful if you want to run the automation at a set time per day, per week, and even at a particular time. However, we'll not set scheduling rules for this project. Now, click run flow now, and again, run now. The Parabola flow is now active. Whenever the flow gets run, it'll go through the defined process, pulling from Google Sheets, enriching the data, inserting a text column, removing columns, and then exporting. And if we now visit our Google Sheet, you'll see the result of our automation. So as you can see from our domain via Parabola and Clearbits API, we've managed to draw down the logo URL for those domains. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no-code project, please give this video a like. If you want to get notified of the latest projects that I publish every week, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no-code project.